What's up guys, I'm Mackenzie, welcome back to another episode of the Youth Career Mode. If you enjoyed the video today, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and go to the video just down below. But today is the final episode of the Career Mode. I am excited. Are you guys excited? I am too. I just said that. But no, no, this isn't the final episode of the Career Mode. It's the final episode of this season. We have six games left in the season. We have one month left. And if we look at the calendar, of course, the six games. Crawley, Luton, Notts County, Exeter, Crew, Alexandra, and Newport County. And we are going today, going to do an irregular episode where we're going to play three and simulate three. We're going to be playing Crawley, Notts County, and the last game of the season against Newport County. We are wanting to catch both Exeter and Newport, and we can catch both, and we could finish 19th in the league, which would be really good finish considering what we've just been on. But in our last seven games, we've won six and drawn one. We haven't lost in eight games, which is very exciting. But today we're playing Crawley, and hopefully we can beat them. Let's get into it. We're going to be playing them. Uh, and then next game we'll simulate, then we'll play, then we'll simulate, then we'll simulate, then we'll play. And that will be the end of this season. This season, there will be more. And this is our team going into the game. We've got Andre, our center forward, playing center back. Because, funny enough, he's actually a better defender than Ronaldo or whatever his name is. But it's it's a weird team. Hopefully, it's good enough to beat Crawley. If we can beat Crawley, we can we can do a lot. Okay, let's do it. Okay, here we are. Goodison Park against Crawley Town. First game of the episode. There will be all six. Three of them played, three of them simulated. Let's do this. If we win four of our six games, I will re probably reckon that we will finish 19th or at least 20th. So that is our goal to do that, to not finish 22nd, at least 21st at the worst. But let's do it. So Ferrari here. Let's see what he can do. He's into the box. He's been pushed up the box because no one's got the ball. I mean, no one's got strength. I know what I meant. Oh, Archie Ward, well done, son. Let's see if you can keep going. He can keep going. Can he finish it? Oh, he's just hit it wide. No, he's turning. Can he? Ferrari! He's so bad at scoring. Okay, here we go. It's wide! It's 1 0! There we go! Huge breakthrough against Crawley. Connor White, we've actually scored from outside the box. This doesn't happen often, but we've managed to do it just outside. Bottom corner, left footed finish. What a strike by Connor White, who's actually Connor Black, but whatever. I'm sorry, that was. Shouldn't have said that. Whatever. Let's see what Ferrari can do now. He's got the chance to set someone up to make it 2 0. And it's Conti, the right back, gets his first goal, I think, for us. And it's 2 0. And that is likely the end of the game now. Three points should be in the bag now. Ferrari doing what he probably does best. He's not a striker. I don't want to play him as a striker. He's just our only option. Nicola Conzi gets his first goal for us. That now opens the gap for three points. 2-0 should be easy from here. No, Crawley are through. And they've just missed. I thought that was in. Okay, we've got away with it then. Oh, here's a chance here if we can send through Chevalier. He is through. He should be making it 3-0. And he does make it 3-0. That's, I think, his third goal in three games. I think he's only played three or four games for us. And he scored in all of them. Or nearly all of them. And it's a good finish. It was an easy goal. But he, he put it in. Lots of players have it this season. And now it is 3-0. And it's, it's well and truly over. And we have destroyed Crawley Town. And by the way, this is why I didn't want to play every game. Because one, it would drag out. And two, I would just dominate like I have today. 3-0. All right. Solid. Come on. Don't consider Concede. Don't concede. Fuck's sake. I don't know how three minutes has gone for that long. Shit defending. There's no excuse for conceding that, but like we shouldn't be conceding that because there we go. Last kick of the game. 3 1 though. It's three points. It doesn't really matter about goal difference or clean sheets. All that matters about is that three points. And we're going to see now. Maybe we're getting closer. Let's see. Barnet, Notts County. Oh, we're doing... oh, Exeter lost. Yes. And. Yeovil lost too, and Grimsby drew. Dude, we're getting closer. We are only three points off 19th now. Let's let's check out that table. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, yeah, three points off 19th. Fuck me. I don't think we'll catch anything above that because that's nine points away, but three points off 19th is very possible. All right, guys, into this simulation of this game. We are playing against uh, Luton Town, and that is our team. It's a strong team. Hopefully it's good enough to beat Luton Town, because if it is, we could, if we look at the table, I think our goal difference is superior. It isn't superior. But <laughs> if we win, we could be on level points with 20th place Exeter. Unfortunately, Newport County won their match. So now it's unlikely we'll actually finish 19th. It's still possible. It's just unlikely. But we could do it. But we're going to aim for 20th. If we finish 20th, very, very happy. So we want to win today, although a draw won't be calamitous. We'll keep our, as long as we're undefeated, I'm happy. Let's do it. All right, let's go. 
Oh, and oh, one all. Okay, two goals in two minutes. That was unexpected, but we'll take it. We're, we're level terms. Uh, okay, Newport scored. That's not good. Grimsby are drawing. That doesn't really matter if we're going to play good enough. Okay, Cheltenham is, doesn't matter. Okay, uh, okay, we're losing 2-1. That's all that matters is that we are not winning. Come on, 70 minutes. Screw another goal. Fuck, I didn't mean for them. I didn't mean to let them screw another goal. Oh, we're falling further behind. Okay, Exeter won 3 0. Newport won 3 1. Ah, shit. Let's put a spanner in the works. Well, about eight games undefeated. S uh, seven wins or some shit. We are now defeated. And uh, now we're six points off 21st and 20th. And eight points off Newport. I don't think we'll finish 19th at all. It's now all about trying to finish 20th. And this is our team going into the game against Notts County. It's the third game of the episode. Our second game that we're playing. We've got Ferrari on the left wing that's unheard of and uh yeah let's hope for something amazing a win would be greatly appreciated let's do it okay here we are into the league two game against Notts county huge game they are going for promotion we are trying to just get three points if we can get three points it's going to be a huge huge three points um if we lose we can pretty much say goodbye to finishing 20th um unless we get really lucky but here's a good start it's through for phillips can he get a goal off the crossbar what a save by the Notts county keeper and it's come off the crossbar and this could be a chance. Oh, I don't score corners. So I got excited there. I'm still excited. Oh, it's going in. Oh, we've hit the crossbar twice in five minutes. Ferrari. Now play it out to our center back. Play it. Okay, didn't mean to play it there to our left back. But okay, that's good. That's good. Fontana, I think that is. Cross it in. Get a goal. Oh, shit. Dude. Oh, that was close. Five minutes in. We've almost scored twice. We've hit the crossbar twice. And Phillips is playing great. Get this cross in to Barbia. Someone score. We should be well and truly 1-0 up. We've had three great chances already inside 10 minutes. What a start to the game. It's been electric so far. Conti now played to Barbara. Let's see if you can burst through. He's got the pace. Can he get fouled? Fuck. I wish he got fouled. He's in the box. He's heading live. That's a penalty. Yes. There we go. There's our penalty. We get a lot in this career mode, and it's another one here. And here's a good chance to go 1 0 up in a difficult game. Difficult chance to score. It's Barber are going to score. He's our top scorer. He's fucking saved. But he's got to score the follow up. No one was there to put it away. But Barber. I'm just going to call him Barber from now on. And that's about his ninth league goal this season. He has been sublime. He's eight. He's been very good for his low rating. And he's kept us in with a shout of staying in a good position, if that made any sense. Barbara, again, getting another goal, potentially getting us more fucking more points. Yeah, that's what I meant. I could have done better then if I was paying more attention. There we go. Barbara running through again! Off the post! How we hit the woodwork three times this game. That one went back across the line. It ran along the line and went out. I can't believe my luck this game. It's fine margins between being 5-0 right now. And knowing my luck, I'll probably concede a 90th minute fucking equalizer. Okay, good play here. We can find Ferrari. He scored! Yes! He doesn't score all season whilst playing a striker. We put him on the left wing and he comes into the middle and he finally scores. It's taken him all season with me he scored one previously but i didn't score it it was a simulated game but he finally comes up and scores ferrari okay no he scored one with me but he gets a goal it's about time and as soon as he plays on the left wing and he comes in and he scores i i don't get it i don't fathom it but i don't mind it oh look at that pass there it's archie ward fucking green why are you i didn't mean to pass it to him at all there we go we should have had about six or seven i'll take a two nil win but we definitely deserve more than that. We hit the woodwork three times. Let's see now. Okay, Grimsby. Don't care about Grimsby. Blackpool won again. Newport County drew. Exeter lost. Exeter lost. Yeovil lost as well. Yes, it's all coming up good now. The teams that we needed to lose lost, and we are now three points again off 20. We're only six points off Newport, but I don't see that happening. But we are only six point up. Oh, three points off Yeovil and Exeter. If we win... Oh, but it's hard because our goal difference is shocking compared to Exeter's. Ah, it's going to be hard. I think we can maybe get above Yeovil. Exeter's is going to be a lot harder. I think we have to win all three of our remaining games, and I'm skipping two of them, so it's going to be very hard. Okay, guys, into our game against Exeter, which I am skipping. If I could play this, I could secure my place at at least 21st position, but unfortunately, I have to simulate it, and this is our team we're putting our trust in to hopefully get the win over Exeter. If we beat Exeter, we'll be level 
struggle with them on points, but our goal difference is slightly worse than theirs. It is actually a lot worse than theirs. If Even if we beat Exeter, we won't go above them, <laughs> actually. Oh, we've drawn it one all. We picked up a red card to green though, that's not good. But it, it's a draw, I guess. We're, don't know what this means for us, but shit. Okay, last game that will be simulated this season. We have this team going out against Crew. If we don't win, we don't finish 21st or higher. If we win, we can still finish even 19th. It's just very unlikely. Results have to go away. But we have to beat Crew today. If we don't beat Crew, season over and we finish 22nd. Come on, boys. Let's do it. This is your final chance to do shit. Okay, you got a decent team out there, but I don't see us. I just... It's going to be difficult, okay? 20 minutes in, they pick up a uh, yellow card. Can we keep on the pressure? Half an hour in, nothing has happened yet. Okay, they've got 20 minutes left, and they've scored. And, yeah, that's us. That's our season over. Okay. All right. Well, that's the season done. Sweet. We can't finish higher than 22nd. Can't finish lower than 22nd. We finish 22nd. And with that in mind, there's really really no point of playing this game against Newport. Let's be honest here. I am just going to simulate it because there's nothing up for grabs now. My job should be secure, I'm hoping. So we are going to simulate the last game of the season. We shouldn't get sacked. If we get sacked, it's really fucked. But that's our team that's going to go out. It's a team because everyone's tired and nothing's up for grabs. It's just really honor now against Newport. So we're going to do that. We're going to put in that and hopefully we can we can come out with a win. I'll take a win. Doesn't really matter if we don't win, but whatever. Okay, we're one nil down. Down. Yeah, and, and looking at it anyway, Exeter and Yeovil are both winning, so oh, now they're both drawing. But regardless, okay, we're 2-0 down. We, we were just not going to finish. Even if we had won the last game, we still wouldn't have finished where we wanted to finish. So I'm not feeling too bad. 3-0, 4-0 loss. 4-0 loss, all right. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Last game of the season, we, we end where, where we started. 4-0 loss. Okay, well, we finished seven points off where we wanted to finish. It's kind of disappointing, but what, what happens, I guess. And when the season's finished, and Garnier, the one that I really wanted to sign, is it's still 15. It, it's it's bloody ridiculous. And we can't sign anyone because uh, our youth academy is full. But look, he's still 15. This guy is still 15. It's actually dumb. Okay, guys. So, we are in the last month of the season now. We're still, of course, growing players. This guy's still 15. I don't get it. This guy is 17. 58 overall. And has a potential of 85 to 94. And has a right back. Right back is a position we've always struggled at. But now we've also got this guy. With 76 acceleration. 70 sprint speed. Good strength. He has got a lot and decent stamina as well but his defensive stats are actually pretty shit which means his defensive stats will grow fast which means he'll get a higher overall really quickly this guy is going to be insane and this guy as well looks like he's going to be pretty decent not as good as Garnier but he still will be pretty decent if we train him Joe Bennett's not going to do anything we're still in look of a world-class striker we can't find one maybe with these monthly scouting updates we will find our legendary striker no nope, but he looks like he's going to be pretty sick anyway on oh, this guy's already 60 overall so this guy would go straight into our team and he's got decent speed okay that's pretty good compared to this left winger up here who has relatively same potential it's difficult that we just keep getting wingers i don't really want this many wingers but i just keep getting so many of them now we're just simulating through to the end of the season we see we got our star right back there our star left mid there star center back and just a striker because we still don't have a striker but barbier i played very well with him so i figured yeah i'll just keep training him up until i find a world-class striker and this is how our team will finish the season of course we still got garnier to come in at left mid we got that center attack of mid to come in here we've also got the right back to come in here so we have a fairly decent team ready for next season, which will be a title push. We're going to push for the title. This is our bench currently. Of course, all these players will grow. All we are needing is dire need of a world-class striker, maybe a decent center mid, and potentially a left back. But apart from that, everything is well and truly underway, and we just need a bit more depth in the team for when we get tired. Things are looking great for next season. As long as we don't get the sack in the next few seconds, um, things are going to be looking very good. If we look here, we see Patrick Patrick Price grew 21 overall from 49 at the beginning of the season. He's now 70 overall. And his diving has gone up by 26. Reflex is 28. And positioning by 32. He only kept 10 clean sheets in 45 games. But he still grew a lot. Like a shit ton. Conte grew a fair bit. Guadio grew.
through a lot. 24 in slide tackle and standing tackle. 32 in marking. Martin grew a fair bit as well. 21 in marking. Oliver Green grew by himself and in training. Patrick Rose got a lot better at stamina and ball control and all that because I wanted him to have more stamina. Connor White kind of improved a lot, but his stamina is shocking. Um, Fontana is going to be a great player. Up by 10. But I, I trained a lot of his dribbling as well. Ferrari just grew a lot of that by himself at the beginning of the season. I trained him a bit, but then he grew by himself and he's grown quite a lot actually. Too bad he's shit at scoring. Phillips, I didn't train it all, so he's looking very promising. Barbie, I trained towards the end of the season because we realized we had no strikers. He got a goal every second game. And then we just got a whole bunch of other players that have sort of grown throughout the season, getting faster, getting more stamina. Then you got the Everton players that I've been trying to sell in the next season. Uh, they got some more players here. Gasparoni, who will probably be sold eventually. Because he's three months out injured and he's not going to be in our team because he's not going to grow. Um, but anyway, yeah, a few more players here and there. Keepers, shit players that we're going to be selling. And yeah, that's pretty much our season done. This guy didn't even grow throughout the entire season. What a piece of shit. We'll be selling him as soon as possible. All right, and here we go. We're going to fast forward now. We better not lose. I swear to fuck, if, if we lose our jobs, I'm going to actually go mad. And there we go. That is the end of the first season. Players have grown quite a lot. I'm very happy with some of the growth in this team. A 25 plus stamina for Nicholas Garnier as well is huge because originally I was like I'm not going to be able to play one half with this guy. Now I feel confident I can play like a whole game with him and he's going to be the best player. He's going to be the poster boy of the series. Um, Did we achieve our board expectations? Probably not. I'm finishing the bottom part of the league. We kind of did didn't we? Shit. Okay, sick. We were hoping for a stronger commitment and better for Zosri. That said, we believe that he deserve another chance. Hell yeah, we're keeping our job. And that is season one of the Youth Academy. Done and bloody dusted. It's been a long time. It's it's I've sat here for this last episode for nearly two hours recording this. It's been a long, long episode. But we've braved the fight and we're through. And that is the end of season one. Season two is going to be more exciting than season one. So if you've enjoyed, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and advice video sessions down below. If you have any suggestions on how I can work this series, please comment down below. Hit the like button as well. It'll come back in a week or so um, with the start of season two. Be sure to check out my Arsenal career mode if you haven't already. And um, yeah, it's it's been a great journey. I, I've enjoyed it thoroughly. Parts of it. Some parts of it I've hated. But anyway, if you haven't seen any of the rest of the series, go back and check it out. Watch it all. Come back to it and come back and watch season two. But we're going to end it here. We're going to leave you on a cliffhanger of what's going to happen in season two. But until then, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.